It's the time of year we're all shopping for gifts, either for ourselves or for other people. We thought we'd come up with our favorite suggestions for photography accessories if you love taking pictures. Yeah, also I just wanted this to be a real gift guide because I'm trying to shop for my family and it's clear nobody uses the stuff they suggest. So this is actually in our house. We use it all the time. Let's go. Unsponsored, bye. <laughs> bye. I don't really say bye. All right, so the first one is this Aura digital picture frame. I reviewed, I think, five picture frames. This one was my favorite. It's got a nice solid frame. The picture quality is very good. It shows video with sound as well if you'd like to do that. But one downside is that it requires Wi-Fi. So I gave this to my grandmother and she didn't have Wi-Fi. I had to give her a different one. But this is the one that is the best if you have Wi-Fi. Another thing I like about it is that the app is super easy. So you just add photos from your camera roll and then you can um, add them to the frame and you can invite other people to add pictures too. So if your kid is away at college or your friend is across the country, they can add pictures of themselves or their family. Maybe, maybe it's someone you should trust because that could get weird. <laughs> Another favorite thing that we have are these lucky straps. They're leather camera straps that are made in Australia. Um, I like them because they're leather, they're classic, but also they have this release system where it's easy to get the strap on and off. This is great if you want to put your camera on a tripod and you don't want the wind blowing around your strap. There's really, I'm not doing this elegantly, but there you go. And that's how you get it off. They also have different styles, widths and lengths. So it's nice that I have a shorter one than Tony. Tony and I were fighting over these, so we got like six of them. We do have an affiliate link with them, but we have this entire thing full of the brim, to the brim with straps. And Lucky Straps is our strap of choice. We're not sponsored by them, we just like them. And while I'm on the topic, we also have Tony's AirTag here. Um, there's a little clip that you can put on your strap and this helps you track your camera. So Tony forgot his camera at a restaurant and when he was far away from it, his phone got a notification, you forgot your camera. If you're looking for a more heavy duty option for securing your AirTag, Elevation Lab makes this one and it's more discreet. It's not as obvious that it's an AirTag and it's also more difficult to remove from the strap. Tony has this attached to his Leica because he's taking this seriously. I also saw an article that someone had this in their gear bag and someone stole their gear bag and they were able to recover it. So I think the air tags are a smart way to go. My desk has the other things I use all of the time. I'm not a super tidy person, as you can see, but I have my uh, Apple AirPod Max headphones. The noise canceling saves me all the time. I can't stand listening to all the leaf blowers outside. Any kind of hum is distracting. Sometimes I even just put on the noise canceling with no music or anything just to make my office quieter. I love these. The only drawback is that sometimes they're flaky connecting, but I haven't found any other Bluetooth headphones that are better at that. You can also use a cable to connect it to your camera for monitoring sound. I also recommend getting probably not white because you get like grease from your face and I got makeup on these and you can wash them, but they get kind of gross looking in white. So I have the blue, you can take off the cup and wash it, but no one wants to do that. And I like those for flights too, even though they're bulky, they block out the sound of the plane and that's nice. I also have my travel Wacom tablet, Wacom tablet. Uh, I bring this with me everywhere. I love this little thing. I have my full size one for my desk. And then the other thing that I use all the time and I can't live without is a second monitor. It makes my workflow so much easier. I'll also plug my mouse because it's different, but I had a lot of problems with my arms hurting uh, before I got this one and you put your hand on it sideways and just use your thumb and that's really helped me with my My old lady arm pain if you're struggling in that way. Tony, what do you have? I want to show off my voiceover station here. Voiceovers are a great way to hack together transitions in your video stuff you didn't get coverage for and this little setup here has been convenient and it sounds great. This little setup here has been convenient and it sounds great. I'll put links to all the gear in the description, but we have some padding here to reduce the room echo, a good quality Newman microphone, and then this Shure X2U USB adapter that goes directly into my computer. And this speeds up video creation so much. This plus a little bit of noise cancellation in Final Cut, and I have professional grade voiceovers in seconds. I try to always keep a camera around my neck, 
but most cameras just make you look like a tourist. If you get an attractive camera and you put a nice leather case on it, well, now you seem like an artist. I, I think it's cool to make your cameras look nice. And these cases are from Casa Leather. But whatever camera you have, you can probably find a nice half case for it that both protects it and makes it more attractive. If you ever use flashes in a studio, I just found out my favorite wireless flash trigger is having a big sale. Use this link and you'll get an extra $15 off for a total of $65 off. I love this flash when I reviewed it. I just thought it was too expensive, but Christmas is a time to splurge and dropping 65 bucks off definitely helps. Recently, Chelsea was hired to get some nice landscape photos of a person's house and I just happened to bring my drone and guess which picture ended up selling. That's right. A nice drone can easily beat $8,000 in camera gear because drones can get angles that other cameras cannot get. If you do not yet have a drone, landscapes, portraits, real estate, you should get one. They are not toys. They are serious photographic tools that can make you a lot of money once you learn how to properly use them. I'm using the DJI Mavic 3, but pretty much all the current DJI series of drones are capable of great images. I highly recommend photographers get a smartwatch. I'm using the Apple Watch Ultra, but whatever smartwatch you get is going to be incredibly useful because it gives you current conditions. And at a glance, I can see the temperature, the wind speed, the weather conditions, whether it's partly cloudy, which is ideal for landscapes or overcast or no clouds, which aren't as good. I know when the tide is low tide or high tide, and that's good as a wildlife photographer. I can see the wind speed and how it's changing. And again, as a wildlife photographer, that means that I know when to hop in a kayak and get some great shots. Or as a drone photographer, I know whether or not it's safe or whether I'm going to get waves in the water or nice still reflections. Knowing all these conditions is important for all types of photography. So check out smartwatches. I almost forgot something we use every time we film, and that's these Rode Wireless Go 2 mics and these we really appreciate because they record to your camera but they also record locally to this device so if something happens to your sound you have a backup here you do have to sync it that can be a little bit annoying but it's better than losing all your sound which has happened to us multiple times would you believe we had to use this feature for this video the microphone receiver connected to the camera ran out of batteries and we didn't notice it but it wasn't a problem because we had a real backup. I also like that they're very small and light, so they fit in my pocket a lot easier than the larger mic packs that we have. Uh, yeah, these are a good option. That's just some of the gear we use all the time, but we really do like it. If there's more that you wanna know about, we can certainly show you. Happy holidays. Subscribe to see our upcoming reviews and tutorials, our camera of the year, and so much more. Bye.